What is going on guys, Swole to be here, back with another video. Today's video is going to be a Call of Duty class setup video. I'm going to go a little bit in depth, it's usually what I do. I'm not the average person who just shows you, hey, this is the class, this is the class, this is the class. No, I'm actually going to explain each class and just really go in depth and for the reason why I use these things, what's better, what doesn't work for certain guns. So we're going to start here with the VMP. Now you can see I do have four VMP classes. I am a pretty much a sub player, a not a main sub because John is kind of has that role. But I'm like the second sub. So having subs is like a must. So right here, I'm going to use the basic quick draw, grip, and stock. Stock is almost a necessity at this point on the VMP. I talked about this in a, like a couple videos ago saying, you know, the stock, like the VMP strafe is so slow because they nerfed it. So now stock on the VMP is pretty much a must. If you do not run stock and another player has stock, he will outgun you most of the time because he can strafe for you and make you miss a lot of bullets. So I do have stock here and quick draw grip, obvious things. So stock you pretty much want on your sub all the time. You can see all my subs have stock. So then I have a fragment trophy. Now trophies I feel like are really, really underrated in this game. I feel like some players don't even run them and I don't understand why. Trophies are so, so good. Helps you get points. It helps out your team. And then a frag, of course, you know, they could be running trophies. They could be running flag jackets. But there are times where they won't be running those things. And a frag can get you an entry kill. It can block their path. So it can be really helpful. And then the basic perks, which you're going to be seeing in most of my classes. Afterburner, Fast Hats, and Blast Suppressor. Now for the second class, I have a double EMP. Same class, just instead two EMPs. EMPs are so good in this game. If you guys do not know what an EMP does, obviously if you if you have score streaks, it's not allowed to use them for a certain amount of time. If you have a specialist, it will disable it or not allowed to use it for a certain amount of time. It destroys your radar and it stops your thrust from regaining. So if you use your any amount of your thrust, you have no more until the EMP wears off. So you can't regain any. So it's really helpful, you know, especially teams that might lack in communication. EMPing them can hurt their team so bad because they're not going to communicate that well. And you can easily just start hitting from all corners and they're not going to know what hit them. Now for my next class, is going to be a basic stack to VMP class. So instead of using, you know, the same old tacticals, I'm going to add long barrel in it. Now long barrel isn't as effective on the VMP. And like I said, stock is more important. So I don't, I never trade long barrel for a stock anymore. But long barrel does help sometimes. It does help you maybe if you're struggling and especially online, like, there might be certain holes that you can't kill, you're having trouble slaying, you're having trouble getting kills, and, and on top of that, maybe all tacticals are bans, maybe only EMPs are allowed, so then you can sort of pull this class out. I myself like to use tacticals usually, I've kind of switched my role to that player. I rarely ever use this class, but I always have it just in case. Now for my fourth class, we're going to have a VMP, but instead with a frag and a smoke. Now in this game, in Call of Duty in general, smokes haven't been used that much, but you're slowly starting to see them being used a little bit more. I'm starting to use them a little bit more, and they can be very, very, very effective, especially on certain hills, on certain maps that a smoke could, you know, Either let's say you have control of a hill and they're rushing you, you can black the path so they have to run through the smoke blindly, you get a couple easy kills, or let's say you need to push a certain hill and there's a AR or a certain position that, that they're holding a very power, powerful spot, you can smoke it out and it leaves the guy useless. So smokes can be really useful, obviously I don't use it all the time because I rather use the other tactical classes. But there are times where I will pull this class out and it can help my, out my team so, so, so much. That's just something you guys have to learn. And then for my final class, since I'm technically the third AR, even though John does pull it out sometimes, but I sometimes, I'm technically the third AR. I have a MA class. Now, usually what people sometimes do is they add a long barrel. Long barrel is more effective on the MA. But for some reason, it's not that big of a difference. And the only map you can really, like, just think about it for a second. The only map that's really, really good is, is on Fringe. And we, we're not going to play Fringe all the time. And I like to be a team player. Let's say Slasher or J-Cap, the main ARs. You know, one of them maybe can stack their AR. Just one of them because you do need trophies. You do need tax. We, we, you guys got to understand, tax are really, really good. And especially in Hardpoint, Breaking Hills, you know, hurting people, distracting people. Like, tax are really underrated. So... I, I definitely don't need to run that. I'd rather if it's a 30 R, uh, let them run it if anything. But I'm going to here use this three attachments, which is completely fine. Of course, a pistol, which is really helpful in those close range gunfights, especially if you run out of ammo. And then we're going to have a frag grenade with an EMP. Sometimes I switch the EMP with a trophy. But just having these two, obviously, like I said, can weaken them weak in the hill. Uh, EMP, the ball guy, if we're playing uplink. Like, it just, it, it's helpful, especially in uplink, guys. EMPs are so, so good at uplink. Like, for example, if somebody, if the ball guy, you, you can't kill the ball guy, right? 
and he's going to go for a two. You EMP the ball guy, and it makes him useless because now he's forced to throw the one. It takes a couple seconds for the EMP to wear off, about three, four seconds. So if, if you are in a close position, then he's just going to get you know anxious, and he's just going to throw the one. So it's really going to stop in twos or even stopping players like not making points at all. Like They could, wall, let's say, wall run into a position to go shoot a one or shoot a two or something. You EMP him, completely knocks off his thrusters. You know, he has no more boosts. If if he already used them to get to the place, then you're kind of screwed. But if he did a little bit early on, then he's screwed. So before I go, I'm going to give you guys two quick tips as well for CTF and uplink regarding, you know, I'm just doing a respawn video right now. So on the VMP, hardwired is, is really good and especially in, mainly in uplink. Because if you have the ball, like I said earlier, you know, EMPs can hurt you so bad. If you have a specialist like camo, kinetic, specialist that require you to use it right there or like if that you can use while holding the ball or to push something really aggressive, hardwired will completely, you know, stop the EMPs. So it allows you to do whatever you want. So hardwired, you know, could be a good change. Like in, in, in uplink, you don't necessarily have to run tax because it's a faster paced game and it's like, like you have to break the hill. Like your teammates, you can kind of like spread out the love. You know, spread out the love and attacks. So hard, you can run hard wire sometimes. Don't get greedy as well. Try to run, you know, attacks for your team. But you can run hard wire sometimes in replace of maybe a fourth attachment or for EMP Semtex, whatever the case is. I definitely like hard wire. And then for CTF, a little trick I do, and I think it will help you guys out a lot. I think it's a very helpful thing. Is don't do this all the time, and it also depends on a map. I usually do this on breach and evac, mainly on evac. I would actually run Dead Silence. Now, for the people who are watching my stream or just watching me in general, you might see me do this sometimes. And the reason why is because Dead Silence, obviously, is really good in this game. Like, you could barely hear it. The only noise you usually make is very little. is when you wall run, but it's very, very little. And if you, like, like I don't understand. Like, if you fall down, you do, like, a little thump, and then people could hear that. But other than that... That silence is really, really good. It's really effective. Obviously, you can't really hear your footsteps. You can hear people's footsteps. They aren't the loudest. Like, not running the silence isn't the craziest thing. But a map like Evac, where it's very close to range, you know, as a sub, you're always pushing those little cracks. You're always, like, maybe wall running, you're trying to be sneaky. It allows you to hear them, so it's a very good class. I would highly recommend this class. Like I said, don't use it all the time, though. And the only map I would really recommend it on is Evac. Sometimes I do it on Breach. But a map like Fringe is Stronghold, it's, it's, it depends, you know, on the situation. Fringe, for sure, I, I rarely ever run it, but it's just a good tip to give to you guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This has been a respawn class in-depth video where I just went over everything, try to talk a little bit about CTF uplink as well. Even though some of the classes are pretty much generalized, they're all kind of the same, but I did give you guys a little bit extra tips. And if you want to see an SD one, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want, and leave in the comments below as well. And I could definitely do an SD one. SD one is going to be a little bit more different, but I wouldn't mind at all. This has been Swole to P. Hope you all have a good day, and I'm out. Peace. Whoa, stop right there. Make sure to check out my previous video before you go. I guarantee you're going to like the way you look. Wait, what?